So, I mean, the Canvas trial was set up to test the safety and efficacy of canicle flows in, in diabetes. And the main manuscript itself was actually published uh, six months ago. What they described there was, was an important benefit in diabetics on three-point um, cardiovascular mace. Um, but importantly, there seemed to be a real uh, benefit in one of the secondary endpoints, which is heart failure. And really, this is consistent with what's being seen with some of the other SGLT2 inhibitors. And it's really exciting from a cardiovascular perspective and a cardiologist or a clinician's perspective because diabetes, heart failure is one of the biggest problems for diabetes, that despite having good glucose lowering management, we've not been able to previously see benefits on in terms of the heart failure effects. So we then set out to really try and understand what was happening in terms of the heart failure events in this large uh, randomised trial. And what we particularly were interested in is if they had a diagnosis of heart failure at baseline, did they still receive the same benefit and the same safety? Um, and what we did see is obviously the high, we confirmed that you do see a very high level of events in people who have got heart failure at baseline. Um, and so by the end of the study, 25% of them had actually had a heart failure event. Um, and that was dramatically reduced by the SGLT2 inhibitors. We saw a, a borderline significant interaction between having a, a, a diagnosis of heart failure at baseline and the benefits, suggesting potentially higher benefits in patients that had heart failure at baseline. Well, look, there's a lot of um, interest in this area because of its huge implications worldwide. Um, obviously, the burden of disease is there. And what's being now run is obviously prospective trials looking particularly at the benefits of SGLT2 inhibitors in patients with heart failure specifically. Uh, and so I think this will be something that will you know, rapidly be um, changing practice. Well, I think um, obviously trying to understand whether the, the SGLT2 inhibitors actually work in different classes of heart failure. One area that we really struggle as physicians to look after and change outcomes in is people with heart failure but preserved ejection fraction. A very hot topic will be whether or not this class of, of agents may be one of the first to actually make a difference in that particular area. So I know these studies are actually being carried out at the moment. Certainly um, from a cardiologist's perspective, I think we are now at a point where we need to engage much better with our endocrinology colleagues and actually learn about when we should be initiating some of this treatment and how we can partner with them to improve the outcomes of our patients.